Hey, it's Angela. Welcome back to my channel. I am a 21 year old college dropout currently living in Manila all alone. And today's video, I'm going to walk you through three reasons why I decided to move to the big city. And I'm going to make this video super sweet and super short because people's attention span isn't really getting longer these days. The first reason why I decided to move to Manila is because it's a much bigger city. And a bigger city usually means you get to explore in terms of lifestyle. So here it's just, you know, there's this sense of aliveness and there's this sense of variety that I just did not feel when I was in Davao. And yep, I'm originally from Davao and honestly, I've never really felt like I belonged there. For some reason, I almost always felt like an outcast almost. I started feeling like it was just getting too small. Like it was getting smaller and smaller and smaller for me. Now that I'm able to afford, you know, like a pretty decent amount of like living expenses per month. Obviously, I'm single. I want to enjoy my youth. I want to know what it's like to have um, a life and nightlife and to explore and to experience luxury that you don't necessarily get a lot in like the smaller cities. There's just so much more richness in terms of culture and in terms of the things that I get to do here that I don't always get to do, the places that I don't always get to explore, the places that are not really that readily available in Davao. And also the bigger city also offers more people who are just intellectually switched on. I'm not saying that the people in Davao are stupid, but I'm just noticing that there are more people here who are just like smarter. Obviously, you know, the population here is 10 times the population in Davao, so probably also why. And there are more people who came from all over the world and they can meet here in the city. And to me, that's just way more exciting than just like having your own kind in one place. To me, the variety is just so much more exciting. The second reason why I decided to move here is because I wanted to get out of my comfort zone. I know it's like, dude, it's way cheaper to live in Davao. Like, the living expenses are like one third of the cost of living here in Manila, which are all, all true reasons. But the thing is, I'm not really after safety. I'm not after convenience anymore. I'm really after growth. And I feel like I just, you know, I just get to explore more aspects of myself here in Manila than in like a small city like Davao. I also noticed that people are more open-minded here. People are hungrier for growth. And people, like there are just more people like me here so I don't really feel like an outcast or whatever. Obviously, I know I'm still pretty much an aberration. You know, not everybody drops out at 21 or at 20. Even people who are my age, they're going to college. They're, some of them are actually pretty advanced, which I don't find a lot of them um, way back in Java. So I'm super grateful that this is a place where I really get to exercise my options and grow as much as possible. So in Davao, I had Nanai, who's my guardian. I had my family and it was still, I was living independently, but it was still pretty comfortable. You know, it wasn't me getting out of my comfort zone. Like it wasn't a totally new experience for me because the place was super familiar. There was just something about, you know, a new city where you don't know anyone. Like it's still fresh, it's new, that just like encourages you to grow as a person. And really growth is like one of my top values in life. And that's why I'm here, even though it may be uncomfortable. Um, it's not as uncomfortable though, because I do enjoy um, a decent lifestyle thanks to my business. 
so money's coming in every month. Like I would not, honestly, I would not move to Manila if I were broke and I didn't have my business. Like it's just not, Manila would not be a kind place if you're broke. So of course I'm so grateful that I have my business, that I have my team, that I have, you know, the profit coming in from the business that allows me to live here and to go after my goals and to live by my values and to really push myself for growth. With that said, one of the main avenues for growth really is personal relationships. The last one for this video is I moved here to date cute guys. <laughs> and that might sound so silly and so stupid, but really the truth is you grow like so, so much more, so much faster when you're relating with other people. And honestly, like way back in Davao, like, it just wasn't easy. It wasn't the easiest for me to connect with people on a one on one. I just felt like I never belonged there. And here it's it's so much easier to date and to relate with people because there are more kinds of people here. So the variety is definitely on point. And I don't know, there's, there's just like more options here. And the guys are way cuter here as well, obviously. Financially, I feel safe. So naturally, I am ascending to the higher levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So I have my financial security, financial independence. So now I really want to invest more time, more money, more energy in the relationships that I have, my friends, the people I'm dating. And there are not a lot of guys in Davao who I find attractive. And even like the ones who are attractive, I just don't feel like I would connect to them on a like on a mental on a mental level or even like an emotional level kind of. So those are the top three reasons why I decided to move to Manila. Um, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down below. I hope that you enjoy this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!